So, about seven months ago, I did a video on the Ugandan Knuckles meme. For those of you that saw it, you'll remember our Lord and Savior, sorry. The Antichrist of news sites, Polygon, said it was racist. Like, unbelievably racist. So racist, your racist uncle looks like a feminist in comparison to this meme. Now, naturally, I pointed out the absolute coke-snorting absurdity of the meme being racist. It's from a movie. It's a reference to the movie, a fucking Ugandan masterpiece who killed Captain Alex. Which, by the way, is all on YouTube. Go watch it. Anyway, Polygon is right back at it again with another excellent hot take that totally, totally, 100%, absolutely, is not biased, like at all. Ninja, the man so famous even legitimate news organizations want to interview him. His popularity is fucking astronomical and he's peaking at levels never seen before. Not even at his peak was PewDiePie at this level. And Ninja shows no signs of stopping despite Polygon's strong efforts. So about two weeks ago, they wrote this article, and I took my time with this because I really needed to give it a lot of thought. The article starts out innocently enough. Ninja explains his choice not to stream with female gamers. Apparently, he said he doesn't at some Sony event like an utter twat. And the author explains that a bit, and then goes to a quote from an interview they did with him. Ninja said, If I have one conversation with one female gamer where we're playing with one another, and even if there's a hint of flirting that is going to be taken and going to be put on every single video and be clickbait forever. After that, the article goes into explaining that thought process. Ironically, despite the turn the article takes later on, it actually corroborates what Ninja says. I mean, the author goes so far as to say that there is some truth to what he's saying. Like, no shit. Pokemon and Myth stream together, and people assume they're together. People prod, people poke. It continues on for a couple more paragraphs explaining his devotion to his wife and then another quote from him. Not being connected to other women online, that was something I made 100% sure. That was not even her. She had nothing to do with it. That was me being, I love our relationship, and no, I'm not even going to put you through that. First glance, it's not weird, right? Well, that's the only glance you need. The man just wants to avoid putting his wife in the news 24-7 with their entire relationship being called into question. Just look at how many public celebrity relationships fall apart due in large part to the obscene spot spotlight put on them. Now imagine you're a public citizen where you have that level of coverage, where everything he does on stream equates to 20 new YouTube videos and at least one or two articles. He's a husband who wants to avoid that strain on his relationship. Logically, at this point, it'd be a great time to end the article, right? He's explained it, not much else to add, right? Wait, what? No? No, 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 no! It's, it's Polygon, that means it has to keep going! Straight after this, we get several paragraphs on harassment women face, which Polygon says is disproportionate to women on Twitch, and then it ends the article, with a final quote followed by a closing statement. There hasn't been a single female gamer or streamer on Twitch or anything like that who has been upset about that. Well, that's good and make Shut the fuck up, this is Polygon, and this, this is what cracks me up. Ninja fucking says, oh, nobody is mad, it's all good, and the fucking author of this ass taint of an article goes on to compare Ninja to the outrage over Mike Pence not wanting to stand alone in a room with a woman. What? What? Why is this the thing you want to fight on? The man has said nobody is mad, but you still get mad for zero goddamn reason. Following all this, this, this shitty article, Ninja got a lot of hate, like a fuckload of hate. You remember how much hate Logan Paul got at the beginning of the year? Kinda on that level, he just didn't lose any advertisers. Most of that hate was from people completely misunderstanding how Twitch works, but more specifically, how fucking stingy Ninja is with who he streams with. Since early 2018, Ninja no longer swears on stream, and by extension, he doesn't stream with people who swear. Or, if he does, they 100% can't say shit on stream. And I mean that both figuratively and literally. Personally, I wouldn't do what Ninja's doing. I don't do it as a matter of fact, but I get why he does. When I stream with a female friend, there's a 90% chance someone is going to say something weird in chat, and I've gotten plenty of messages after streams that were way too personal to ask. I'm just left sitting there wondering, like, why would you ask that? Do you have no sense of boundaries? Which is the thing, a lot of these people, they do perceive a different relationship with the streamer and themselves, and a lot of times, there's no real issue there. Most people understand that type of relationship, but some people don't. Some people really assume, and some people push shit way too too far. It's weird enough to get messages about a friend and me from a fan, but now imagine you're ninja, you're married, and have constant media attention on your ass, and you stream with a woman and you say something. You could simply just compliment her skill in the game, and that would be enough for everyone to run with. We'd have top 10 ninja possible relationship videos for weeks on end, and articles left and right. My view on all this really boils down to one, 
it's blown out of proportion. He still hosts women on his channel, which is arguably better since it makes them the sole streamer on his channel. And that two, while I would not do this personally, as I said, I have the privilege of being able to ignore the weird comments from people I get. At his level, Ninja doesn't. His wife doesn't. I don't have to deal with articles comparing me to Mike Electrocute the Gay's Pence, but he very likely could. Now listen, I'm not a Ninja fanboy or anything like that. I follow him on Twitter, but I also follow Keemstar, Donald Trump, Logan Paul, and your mother, and I only really like one of them. My whole issue with all of this is that it, well, it isn't an issue. Nobody cared that he didn't stream with women until he personally drew attention to it. And even then, nobody really cared until some utter dunce at Polygon decided that they should interview him and then shove in a bunch of hyperlinks to articles about female streamers who were harassed. And then compare him to Mike. What about the gays, Pence? Let's go through a couple things here. If you're mad about Ninja not streaming with women, he hosts them on his channel as the sole streamer, meaning anyone who goes to his channel will see them and can watch from there. It is the biggest ad space you could possibly give someone on his channel. If you're mad about Ninja not streaming with women, he still watches female streamers and supports them. If you're mad about Ninja not streaming with women because you just read a Polygon article, you have no idea the level of harassment people face in this field. Even a low-level twat like me, I still get called all the names under the sun and get death threats from flat earthers. It's not fun. Now, a couple days after the article was written, the follow-up piece was done, and it basically just has Ninja's in-depth explanation that he put up on his Twitter after he realized the article had been stylized to put a negative light on him. No fluff, just what he said. Not that it matters, the damage had been done, and I say that in quotation marks because it wasn't legitimate damage. The vast majority of streamers agreed with his viewpoint, and then the few that didn't cited him increasing the difficulty for women to get into streaming, and that's a subject for another video that I probably will never make. Really, it was just normal people that got the most mad. People who don't really have a good grasp on how Twitch, live streaming, and internet popularity works. And I don't blame them. It's very difficult. It's part of why I made this video. I'm hoping that people watching this will understand a different perspective to it. But while you don't have to agree with him, you don't have to say that, yeah, I do that. You just can understand the perspective that he's having to take. And that he does still support women, which is a thing a lot of people completely missed. A lot of people thought he just like completely cut women out. He still plays with them in tournaments. Like I said multiple times, he hosts them on his Twitch channel. He does plenty of other stuff and he shouted them out on his Twitter. And if you're still upset about all this, imagine this. Imagine you make a joke to a friend of yours, okay? And then imagine everyone else hears that joke and then for a whole week, they run articles on it. Videos are made on it and people berate you about it and call into doubt your entire relationship with your partner because of a throwaway comment you made. Imagine the stress that would put on your relationship, even if it was incredibly strong. Let's say your relationship was the strongest fucking thing in the world. Nothing could break it. Jet fuel couldn't break it. But it's still going to make you both incredibly uncomfortable. And that's what he wants to avoid. And if that still doesn't make sense, if you really can't imagine that, and even if that doesn't make a modicum of sense to you, just keep in mind, all I am trying to point out here is that his line of thought isn't sexist. It's just a personal choice so that people just keep writing articles about Ligma weeks later after it happened, instead of trying to find out if he's cheating. You can say it's pointing to him being unfaithful. You can say that, you know, the Ligma thing, that's just a fucking meme, so of course it's gonna be more prevalent. And maybe you're right on that. Maybe Ligma, if it weren't a fucking meme, maybe it would have only been in the news for a week. The fact of the matter is, that's a week. That's a week where his wife, when she goes online, because she is his business manager, and there's like no way she's gonna be able to not see these articles. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Polygon is hot garbage. Of course, that's probably an understatement. If you are mad, please tell me in the comments below. I would much prefer to have a reasonable conversation with you or understand your perspective why you don't think anything I said here is valid. I don't really want to fight. I know a lot of people tend to get in a bit of a tizzy and call me fucking names and tell me to kill myself, but you really don't have to do that. Please, please don't. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment what your thoughts on the video are. Make sure to subscribe to see more content like this in the future and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. And if you'd like to support me in the channel, the best way to do so, other than Patreon, is at my merch store. I personally recommend the premium tee option. It's obscenely comfortable. And if t-shirts aren't your thing, don't worry. We've got sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, and plenty more. The link for that and everything else you'd need is in the description below, as well as my Discord, IMDB, Twitter, and Twitch. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to have your art featured in a video, draw me or one of my wondrous characters, such as the majestic Chad the Sad, and tweet it at TV on Twitter. Huge thank you to Patreon supporters Anonymous and Matt Porter. I really appreciate it.